lesson number two here on this Jackson steel guitar. Uh, this is the Slide King LS6. And folks, this thing has just got so much music in it. Uh, you just can't believe it. You can play this thing. I'm sitting down right now since I'm in the comfort of my home and studio here. But I can play it standing up. And uh, it's just awesome. And so, for those of you that have never played an instrument before, this is a pretty good one to start with and because uh, you can play all kinds of music with it, no limits. And then, for those of you that have played lap steel guitar, it's going to be a whole new little world for you, uh, having this uh, little uh, steel guitar-like, uh, pedal steel guitar-like lever. And then, of course, those that are coming from a pedal steel guitar environment uh, and now picking up this LS6 model, uh, you're just going to love it. I mean, it's just going to be a matter of me kind of teaching you some techniques of how, uh, how I'm using the the lever and you can kind of see there with the beginning of that video uh, just a little bit of what's happening uh, with that. Uh, so let's dive in here and let's talk about this. Now from the last video I didn't mention uh, I want to get a little deeper into this tuning side of this uh, guitar. So let's break this down. We got six strings. So let's look at the first uh, the strings in two different groupings. So I got the top three and that's going to be a true triad. Okay, so that's the top string is an E, the second string is a B, and then of course we have the third, which is the G sharp. So that's going to give you a full a triad right there. <coughs> now, those of you that do come from a steel guitar environment, a pedal steel guitar environment, that is, uh, this is important because you're going to kind of remember this being your your strings four, five, and six from your guitar. And then when you hit that lever, it's basically like putting the A and B pedals in place. So that's why that's why you hear that, that sound like that, okay? So that's the first three strings. So that's important to all of us because those three strings is the major chord. And then when we push the lever down, we're going to another chord that's really close and one that we're going to use a lot in music, one to four. Okay, so we're in the key of G, it'd be like from going from G to C, G to C, okay? So that's what that lever's doing. Now, we also, in the bottom three strings, we've got uh, one, five, one. So we've got two E's there. And then we got the, the B in between there, which is a fifth. And, and you still got, it's not a true triad, but because that B is being pulled up to a C sharp, you're, you also have the one to the four type movement. So you got that, which really sounds really nice. I mean, it's got that. You play those, just lots of tone there. Uh, really tone, uh, quite honestly, that's not uh, always on a standard E9 pedal steel guitar. This is actually a little deeper uh, than that. And uh, so anyway, it's awesome. And uh, we're going to learn some stuff uh, on today of how to use our pedal, okay? So <clears throat> what I'd like to do is I'd like to give you just a little bit of some slides and slides when you're going to use, engage that pedal, okay? So <clears throat> we're going to start off with the 10th fret, and that's going to be in the key of D, okay? So we're going to play those first three, three strings. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide all the way down to the fifth fret. Now, that's pretty good, right? But that went from, okay? But now what I really want you to teach you to do, because I want you to go from D to D. See how that lever is being engaged on the way down? And so you've got... So where that's going to be important when you're playing songs and you're going to be uh, coming along and... See how I used it right there? I went... And then what I want to do is I want to... After, so after I go down and I hit the pedal, and engage the pedal. Now I want to let off the pedal. Okay. 
So the little exercise I'm wanting you to do, the top three strings, and now hold the pedal down, and now hit the top two strings again with your index and middle finger, and let off the pedal, and then hit with the thumb, hit the third string. So now your little exercise is, okay, so you've got, and so those are the kind of movements I want you to begin to, uh, to feel with that pedal. So let's come back to the D position, and what we're going to do now is we're going to hit strings 5, 4, and 3. Push the pedal in place, and then we're going to hit the next set of strings, which is four, five, and two, or, or excuse me, yeah, four, three, and two. Okay, so now what I've done so far is, and then yes, you guessed it, I'm going to go over to the top, and I'm going to hit the top three strings all together, and then push the pedal down. So now I've got. Then I'm going to block and I'm going to let off the, sh the pedals and I'm going to do and so I've, I've worked in that last lick of the one that we just started with so you've got okay so all that's going to be real helpful as you go along but so again so I hit all those together. This is strings five, four, three. Push the pedal down and block with the back part of my hand. And hit the next three. Block. Okay, so a lot of you probably just want to really get good at that. And just learn how to feel that. So hopefully that made sense to you in how I'm using that pedal. And so there's a lot to this instrument and we're just getting started. And uh, so hopefully today's lesson uh, will give you something more to work on. And until next time, uh, just keep practicing and good luck with this.